I was in a motorcycle accident uh, just about two years ago, and I was in a coma and a medically induced coma for about a month. Um, I had, I think, 16 or 17 surgeries, both on my face and on my leg, um, which is nothing there now. DeWalt first came to us as a face model and he was gorgeous just right out of a magazine. I went in for a photo shoot that Dr. Jacobson was doing on faces that included a, a full face and jaw x-ray. A year and a half later he came back to us in a wheelchair. It was shocking. You know, here was a man who was at the prime of his life, who was physically a model in my textbook, and months later was left for dead in the street. We were driving along. I had my, my friend's little brother on the back of my bike, and a girl was drunk and she made an illegal U-turn in front of us. He is lucky really to be alive. Catapulted over her car, hit a parked car with my face and moved it off the road. And then my friend fell on top of me and the motorcycle hit us from behind. DeWalt's entire facial structure was um, crushed. The extent of the accident was so severe that under emergency conditions, when they put him back together, uh, he really was not put together the way he should have been. Being packaged in a different vessel is, uh, is very unnerving. It's a, strange, it's a strange feeling. You talk about you know, bad things happening to good people who don't deserve it, to waltz like that. And I get like that when he's in the room sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just sad, and he's had a great attitude about it. I think it's really heartbreaking, um, and I think it was really hard for him to look in the mirror and not see himself and who he was. There's something to be said for looking like your family and, and looking like who you are, and so it's just weird probably to not look like who you are. Dewalt had a, a very complex surgery. It was needed to be staged into three different stages. He is night and day from where he was when we first saw him. Dr. Jacobson definitely gave me some hope there, and it was uh, a, a huge relief. Every day that he came into my office, he wanted me to put his photographs back up on the screen so that he could look and remember and for us try to mimic and put back who he knew he is. He's under the care of, of the most amazing people he, that, that can be caring for him. Dr. Schindel was uh, very hands-on and very um, uh, progress-oriented in that he wanted to see me get better and he wanted to see me uh, achieve the results that I had initially uh, shot for. There's a great advantage to the patient in having an orthodontist and a surgeon who collaborate closely the end result is better. It's a miracle that he's alive. It's a miracle that he found us. It's a miracle that Steve Schindel is alive to be able to do what he did. In many respects, the whole story of DeWalt is a miracle unfolding in front of us. I mean, I don't know of any, anyone that can even touch what DeWalt has been through and, and continues to go through and walk through and run through and shout through it just blows my mind. I, I feel more like the person that I was, and I think that that's because of the work that was done on my face. And that's really what Face Center gave me, was my confidence back. He'll be okay. <laughs>